G'day Ziggy D here with another starter build for 3.0, Scorching Ray Inquisitor. Scorching Ray was nerfed in 3.0, huh? But only because most of its passives and support gems were massively buffed as a side effect of the ailment changes. Overall its damage is higher than in 2.6 and it's super effective as a starter skill. Inquisitor gives a ton of damage, cast speed and attack speed for shield charge. And then it also gives a ton of regen for both life and mana through consecrated ground that you'll just constantly poop out during combat. This build is made to support Righteous Fire on the newly buffed Mind of a Matter, which now mitigates damage over time, including the damage from Righteous Fire itself. Righteous Fire effectively trades off some survivability for clear speed and damage boosts. You'll need a Rise of the Phoenix to run it, and they might be a little bit expensive at the start of League, because a lot of people are going to be playing Righteous Fire. Good news is Scorching Ray is balling even without Righteous Fire. You'll be able to comfortably farm any maps you like while you save up for your Rise of the Phoenix. The great thing about a build like this is that for scarier maps or for Labyrinth, you can just not turn on Righteous Fire, and then you have so much regen you can just waltz through most things without dying. Fun fact, Mind of a Matter also mitigates the traps in Labyrinth too. Level with a Firestorm Totem linked to Concentrated Effect or Elemental Focus. And then put your Scorching Ray in a plus one Scepter with Controlled Destruction and Elemental Focus. Later swap for a 4-link with Efficacy, Burning Damage and Elemental Focus. As soon as possible, buy a cheap 5 link for a couple chaos and add back in control destruction. Damage wise, Scorching Ray will feel just about alright until Act 4, supported with Firestorm Totem, it gets through pretty well. And then it'll really start to kick into gear and you'll notice that in Act 5 you'll just start melting bosses. Orb of Storms is linked to a low level Arcane Surge, Curse on Hit and Flammability. This setup also activates Elemental Equilibrium on enemy monsters and Elemental Overload, so use it liberally for a massive damage boost. Shield Charge, Faster Attacks and Fortify for Movement get some added cold or lightning damage on your gear and it'll also debuff enemies you hit with Elemental Equilibrium. Just make sure you don't get any added fire damage or it'll work against you. Once you get a Rise of the Phoenix you can use Righteous Fire, link it to Burning Damage, Elemental Focus and Increased Area of Effect, or you can swap to Concentrated Effect for bosses. Rallying Cry, Stone Golem, Arctic Armor and Clarity are all used as supporting skills. Swap Arctic Armor out for Purity of Fire when you start using Righteous Fire though. Pantheon Powers also help support Righteous Fire, Arakali for the Major Power and Abareth for the Minor. Besides your eventual Rise of the Phoenix, gearing is as simple as high life and mana as you can get with the resist that you need. Fire and Spell Damage or Cast Speed on your Amulet can help boost damage. Use a Ruby Flask for Righteous Fire and a Seething Mana Flask for when you take damage. The full passive tree is in the description below. Rush Mind Over Matter and Elemental Overload as well as Life. Get Elemental Equilibrium as soon as you stop using the Firestorm Totem in Act 4 or 5. Fill out with damage nodes and life regen as you head into endgame so you can run Righteous Fire. Take the two passives for the bandit quests, although Alira is an okay option to make gearing cheaper if this character is just used to farm some currency in the early league. Playstyle wise it's pretty simple, just sweep over most packs as fast as possible and let the lingering burn kill them off. For tougher enemies, burn them down to about half life or so and then move on and they should die. It'll take a little practice to get the hang of how long you have to burn them for, so just work on keeping an eye on how little time you can get away with actually scorching them for. Once you go Righteous Fire, you can let your AoE just burn down most monsters while you sweep tougher monsters with Scorching Ray. Use the fairly long range on Scorch to reach enemies that are further away so you don't have to run up to them all. Spam Orb of Storms and Rally and Cry fairly often for damage boosts. And then the only other thing to note is that Righteous Fire and Scorch do stack, so don't be afraid to use both to DPS down bosses and rares. Good luck and have fun in 3.0, stop by my live stream at launch if you want to share in the fun, and if you want to check out an alternative build for 3.0, then take a look at my Glacial Cascade mind build that I uploaded earlier. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.